Hey what up guys, it is Mac HC Tutorials over here and last tutorial I introduced how the YouTube API works and in this tutorial basically we're going to set up our project and hopefully uh, set up our HTML page. So go to Google and type this in, I'm going to type in Google Console API and the first link it says API Console slash Google Code, click on that. And for you, it's not going to send you here. It's actually going to send you to like, create a new project. So actually, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click create new project. And I'm going to name it uh, YouTube API. Yeah, that's what I'm going to name it, YouTube API. So all right, once you do that, you're basically, you're still not done. You have to turn on some services. So turn that on. And also that the you all the YouTube ones, and we're also maybe going to be using this one, Analytics API. Turn that on. That may take a while. All right, guys. So then you want to go to this tab right here. It's called API Access. Now it's going to ask you to make a new client ID. So it's very important, guys. So here, click on it and your project name basically once you uh connect you connect to their page it's gonna ask you uh once you click the connect button or authorize or whatever you name it it's gonna ask you it, it's gonna display this right here it's gonna display the use the user's project name it's gonna display their logo their home page it's gonna ask you do you want to connect or deny so yeah Let's, I'm just going to name it uh, Max HD Tutorials, if I spell it right, my own YouTube channel, Max HD Tutorials, awesome website, alright, I don't really have a logo that I'm going to upload or something like that, so, and here I'm actually going to use my friend's website, so there you guys have it. You want to keep it. At, you want to keep it as web application. Change this to HTTP. You guys don't have to have a uh, a server to do this or a domain. You can just you can do some local host as you can see right here. I'm just doing it for the heck of it. And there you guys have it. I'm gonna put my friend's domain one more time. Just delete this part. And there we go. Creator ID. And there you guys have it. So basically, let me explain this. If I didn't before, you're going to click. It's going to check if the URL is this. If it's not, it's going to say, whoa, you copy this code from somewhere because this client ID only has response. It's, it's only responsible for this website. Get what I'm get what, kind of get what I'm saying or not. So if someone copies your code, they really don't have access to anybody that's connected to your thing because only this website has access to it. Other than that, let me see how much time we have. All right, three minutes, awesome. So let's go to your, here real quick. And I already started a basic layout. You guys sh should know how to do that, really basic. I made two files, an HTML file called index and an index.javascript. All right. So I don't know if I said it before, but there's some classes that you have to include. They're the YouTube API classes. So I'm going to type them in they're kind of long i actually wrote them down on a piece of paper so uh hang hang on with me so i'm gonna do script they're all javascripts so i'm gonna do script type you guys should know how to do this by now text a javascript here except for starting our code we're gonna put source Oops, but it's there we go. Source. Now we're gonna we're not gonna browse for it. We're actually just going to uh, call it. So I'm gonna do Ajax. It's a source that's uh, online on Google's uh, website. It's their classes. So I'm gonna do Ajax. You guys could pause the video to copy this down. A jQuery. 
jQuery.min.js. There we go. That's one of them. Now I don't feel like copying the scripts part and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go here. And I believe there's two or three. So I'm going to delete this. They're all kind of different. You're going to hang with me. So the next one is www.google.com slash js api all right our next one is http got the s and we're gonna do All right, guys, so this is kind of cap sensitive. So you guys do have to put it exactly how I did it. Like I said, just pause the video and, uh, you know, just copy and paste then that code. So we're still missing one more. Now this one, it's not really a link. It's just our uh, index file that we just made. So I'm just gonna delete this right here. I'm going to put index.js, aka JavaScript. All right, guys. Now, normally when I make a project, I make a new folder called uh, like files or JavaScripts or like, yeah, I just normally just name it JS and I put all the JavaScript files in there. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. But normally if you do make, if you are making this for like a professional website, I recommend doing that because then you don't just have a whole bunch of files stacked together actually organized and such and such so that's our basic headers we do have everything linked now very good and just uh i'm just going to check it over real quick i'm going to pause this video for one second and check this over guys now i'm back and uh, the reason i paused is because i really thought i uh i wrote this one wrong and i kind of did so Pause the video again and uh, copy this code correctly. It's this one that I typed wrong, and uh, but I fixed it. As you see, it's it's up there. The the, uh, the class is up there, and I will use their functions. So let's go straight into the body. The body. All right. <clears throat> and here we're basically gonna do two things. We're going to create a div for the uh, JavaScript ID equals, and I'm going to name it a uh, hmm, login container. All right, that seems legit. <laughs> Class <clears throat> pre preauthorize. All right, that's pretty good. And other than that, I'm going to make a link. So I'm going to put click here, here to test the connect button. Now the click the here is going to be a link. So how we do this <clears throat> is right here. I'm going to put a now we have to give all these IDs and stuff like that because we are going to be changing the location that the link is going to be going to with the API. That's why I just left it blank. Uh, it's like this. Click here and like that. I'm 
Let me just see how this looks. And I was right. All right, awesome. <clears throat> so once we have that, we're basically done with our uh, HTML part. Sorry, this tutorial was so long, 10 minutes long, but we got started. Next tutorial, what I'm going to do is get you guys started on your index JavaScript part. So we're actually going to be learning the HTML part. This tutorial was just basically setting up our project and uh, see you then, guys.